Hey guys, it's Blair, the love guru from loveguru.net, the alienetwork.com and horsehealer.net. And this is a fun one. This is actually a confirmation of a prediction I made back in 2021, May, 2021. I wrote about this in Truth News, May 2021 issue, the full moon eclipse special. It's called A Mass Awakening of Society. You can find that at the aliennetwork.com under the truth news tab. So the other day I was at the park, which I'm typically at the park, um, but I was at the park and all of a sudden I see this guy walking, wearing what I think says on his shirt, NPC. And I'm glancing over, he's coming from a distance and I'm like, I don't think. I was like, does it say NPC? I was like, am I making that up? And I'm like, is the matrix playing games on me? <laughs> like what is going on? Cause I see like, so since I moved to Pennsylvania, um, the matrix has become very, um, I don't want to say glitchy. I would say very real and aware to me like there I've I've written about this in my books about moving out to Pennsylvania they're not out yet they're about they're my books that are titled about like homeless and freedom journey that whole experience as I went through that it was really um breaking down the ma the matrix was really breaking down for me like it was again I don't know how to explain this but like I'm able to see parts of the matrix now like my psychic gifts are becoming stronger because i was being moved around a lot and out of typical maybe roles that i would play and typical places that i would normally be and i would i'm able to see parts of the matrix now like i'm able to see that's all that's the only way i could explain it right now i give examples in those books and also in the audios i put out on the alien network um, dot com but so the other day i see this guy walking towards me wearing what looks like an npc shirt and i was like what the fuck i was like am i seeing this correctly this guy is wearing a shirt that said this npc which i knew he was an npc as he was walking and i'll share some details about that so I knew he was an NPC, but yet he's wearing an NPC shirt. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? So I kind of like, I don't want to stare. So I'm looking away and then I'm glancing back and it's definitely, I see a PC, but I'm like, is that, does that say N? And I keep looking away, looking back, looking away, looking back as he's getting closer. And I'm like, that totally says NPC. I was like, this NPC is wearing a shirt that says NPC. <laughs> it was just like such a gift from the matrix to me. It was like, here you go, Blair. And that happens so often, but it still is like, holy shit. So I'm in my car cause I'm getting ready to leave and it looks like the shirt says something like essential NPC. And I'm like, I don't, should I stop and talk to him and like sort of interview him about being an NPC? Like, why is he wearing that shirt? What does he think it is? <laughs> so I, I'm driving out of the park and I stop next to him and I'm like, excuse me. I was like, does your shirt say NPC? And he smiles and he's like, yes, it does. And I asked him some questions. I was like, so you think you're an NPC? And he was like, yes. <laughs> I, sh I should have recorded this and I really should have gotten more into like the interview style, but like it really took me so off guard. And I don't know if you've seen these shirts. I don't know if they're circulating, but this is the first time I've seen this. Um, and I was like, I don't remember what questions I was asking him, but as a typical NPC, he had no answers. <laughs> Which is just so fucking great. He literally had no answers. He was just basically like, I like the shirt. 
And I decided to get it. And I was like, where'd you get it? And he was like, on Amazon. And I was like, yeah, of course. And I was like, you know, there's a lot of talk about and people, people being um, NPCs these days. And he's like, yeah, I know. And I want to point out, this guy is wearing sunglasses when it is not sunny out. And that is a total NPC move. Uh, again, I don't know where you live. The NPCs run different scripts depending on where you live. But in Pennsylvania, I've noticed that a lot of NPCs wear sunglasses when it's not sunny, when they're walking in the park. Um, so I, I didn't realize this till later. And I was like, oh, he's totally because like this has been in my mind for the last like couple weeks that I'm like, what the fuck is with all these NPCs wearing sunglasses at the park when it's not sunny at all? It's like dark out and they're wearing sunglasses at the park. Um, so I love that he was wearing that part of his like NPC uniform. Um, what I want to share here, besides the fun of just, I mean, I think a lot of times when I, when I speak about and teach about NPCs and I have a lot of these advanced teachings on the alien network.com under advanced warrior toolkit, that's the tab you click on. It's a lot of teachings about the matrix, a lot of teachings about NPCs and Sims and, and all what's happening here, all what this is. Um, and what, um, I kind of lost my train of thought for a second here. So a lot of times, okay, this is what I was going to say. A lot of times, like when I'm saying NPCs or I'm calling people NPCs, there's a kind of feeling of like shame that comes uh, over me. And it's based on what I would um, maybe think like other spiritual people would be, or just general, again, like NPCs or assholes, like how I feel like they would be judging me by saying like, you're wrong. Like you shouldn't be labeling people. You shouldn't be judging them. And my comment to that is always like, I'm not judging. I'm calling them what they are. They're an NPC. If you call me a warrior, I'm going to say, yeah, I'm not going to be offended by that. I know it has more of a positive connotation, but you're calling me who I am. I'm a warrior. So that's you understanding my soul essence. Now, when I'm calling someone an NPC, like that's literally who they fucking are. So it's just a label. It just happened to become like more of a negative connotation out in our society, but that's not my issue. That's not your issue. Um, that's like when people say, like used to say like the word like bitch and then like now girls are going around calling themselves bitches, which is total NPC also, but like they're reclaiming the word. Same thing with the N word which I would say it, but like that would probably be bleeped. Off. Like I would probably get a strike on YouTube and this video is going up on YouTube and it's also going up on LinkedIn. So that shit's probably would get, probably get striked on there too. So, you know, I, I can't control on how society starts moving language, you know, <laughs> anyway. So the fact that this guy is an NPC and he's like reclaiming that word <laughs> <laughs> like an empowered NPC. He's like, I'm going to just call myself an NPC. He basically was like, he saw the shirt. He thought it was funny. He wanted to get it. Uh, and I was like, that's awesome. I support you. Thanks for letting me take a picture of you. And I love how he's like, not even smiling for the picture too. He, he was a friendly, nice guy, but he like, looks like such a fucking badass in the picture, which is great. Another level of just funniness. So back in May, 2021, um, which, you know, something I find interesting about this is like, I knew I wrote about this NPCs becoming conscious. And that's what I want to talk about here. Um, back in 2021, I wrote, you could say predicted, cause that's like the mainstream word for it. I predicted that NPCs were going to start becoming conscious. I wrote about this May, 2021 in truth news, which is a publication that I started that I write um, that I, I, I produce, I write for, um, and I am the editor in chief of that publication. And I was guided to start that back 
Um, I guess that was in 2021. I started that um, publication. A lot of information was coming through to me. I started writing it. Um, after a lot of resistance, I started putting it out, right? A lot of resistance from uh, my guidance, from spirit, from Zeke, my star brother. I was like, fine, I'll start writing this. So I knew when I saw that guy, um, because it shows a level of consciousness that he's saying I'm an NPC. He's getting a shirt that says NPC, blah, blah, blah. And I knew I wrote this in um, Truth News. And I, I in, in, in making this audio and putting out this video, I was like looking back over Truth News and I was like, you know, when did I write this? And it was like, yeah, you wrote about this in 2021 when that other, what I think is interesting is when that other um, solar eclipse was going on in May, 2021, uh, it was a full moon eclipse. And what was coming through to me was this mass awakening of society. Well, you know, guess what? Um, I, what I've been really paying, noticing, paying attention, coming to my awareness is that the things that I see happen in my life and in society, it's years down the line. So I'm able to predict things for people 20 years in advance. I'm able to see the path that someone is walking on. Um, I've done it for myself. It's actually caused like a lot of frustration for me over the years because I would know things about my life. I would think that they would be happening in the next several months. Um, yeah. And then they didn't happen and they're starting to happen now, which is nine years later. Um, so I am able, like, I've been tr like, this has been, um, over the last like year or so I've been track tracing and tracking back. Like you could say, again, my predictions, the visions that I've had. And it's been like, this has been like 20 plus years that I'm able to see out into the future. And I was like, my mistake and what, what's caused me a lot of frustration on my path through this, um, through this realm is that again, I'm thinking it's going to happen immediately. And it doesn't, it doesn't happen for like seven years, nine years, 10 years later, that that's when things start popping off that I have seen on my life path. And when I'm working with clients, like also I'm able to see stuff that I'm fully aware. I actually, I do know that it's not toward like for years down the path for them that I'm helping like align them with things. Um, but for my own life path, for whatever reason, I thought it was going to be happy. I didn't think about it. I was unconscious about it, but I was thinking it was going to happen like immediately. And then like, I go through my life and I'm like, so frustrated and angry. Like, why isn't this happening? Like you told me this was going to happen. I see this happening. Why is my life not lining up? And it's like, Whoa, Blair, you know, slow your roll. Like that shit's not happening for like nine, 10 years. Like it's actually happening now. You saw this back years ago and like, no wonder you were, all frustrated all these years. Like your intuition is good. It's actually like really fucking good. Like you're able to see things like down the line. So back to like this NPC thing, I was seeing this, getting this download in 2021, which is three years ago. I was seeing this mass awakening of society. I was seeing how NPCs were going to start becoming conscious, going to start calling in their soul I write about this. If you want to get that issue and read about it um, in again, May, 2021 issue, the full moon eclipse a special it's called mass awakening of society. Um, in fact, like if you're new here and you want to just also, if you're just curious, you want to start reading about all the predictions I have for society coming through start on my first issue of truth news. It, it doesn't matter the dates because again, I see things far in advance. Um, and I actually knew that when I was writing truth news and I have a note about that being like, Hey, if you're new here, start from the first issue and go through to get clued up as far as what's going on for society. So I saw that NPCs were going to start becoming conscious and simply by the fact, even though this guy still again, very much acts in NPC ways, 
um, you know, has certain NPC themes about him. There is, this is what I've been um, speaking about, posting about on my LinkedIn about how um, society, the awakening is here, how I've been seeing signs over the last month, like very strong signs that NPCs are becoming awake, that the, the consciousness is like people are starting to pull their soul into their body, which means that they're becoming conscious, even by the fact that this guy is aware that he's an NPC, that he's calling himself an NPC, that he's wearing MP, like an NPC shirt is showing that there's a level of consciousness there because the other NPCs don't know that they're NPCs. Um, they're at a lower level, a beyond, a beyond, behind him level of consciousness. So I find this very exciting because I am a teacher of consciousness. That's one of my missions to bring higher consciousness into this realm um, and to be seeing those predictions come through the things that I've known were going to be happening is exciting. Um, and I just wanted to pass that on. I, I, it's, it's very fun. It, it's, oh, when you, when you actually see it with your eyes, even though it's just an illusion, um, but the things that you knew within your heart and your soul, and then you're seeing it out in the 3d realm, very exciting. So that's it. This is the love guru from the alien Bye-bye.